Have you ever wondered how many youth in New York don't have a roof over their head? Homeless youth as young as 12 years often have no place to reside, live in shelters, in the streets, vacant lots, and even couch surf. We reached out to Arvanetta and Jean from the organization Picture the Homeless who were willing to speak on the topic. Homelessness can affect anyone. It says that they do not have a place to lay their head. I look at homelessness as something that has been created by man and not by God. The hardest thing for me to do is to help them overcome the apathy because if you are constantly told that you are less than worthy, less than entitled, pretty soon you internalize that and you start acting out the erroneous stereotype. When I know that my youth can be so much better than that, like the boy you standing in front of me. These uh, youth that we work for are beautiful human beings and they have been mistreated by their families and their communities and the society at large. And we stand up against that. You know, many people see faults with homeless people. They see them as dirty or lazy or possibly drug addicted or they always see the negative. The fact is, is that I see positives. I see someone who is resilient. At this present time, so many young people are confused. The leadership that they should have is not there. They're constantly being criticized, put down, belittled. This country is not very good at dealing with poor people. Um, poor people with mental health issues, poor people of color, poor queer people uh, are brutalized and ignored in this country in a way that dehumanizes them. And I sometimes hear people refer to homeless people as bums, as if they're lazy, as if they're in the position they're in because of something that they've done, almost like they deserve to be homeless. And nothing could be further from the truth. I'm in a shelter. I know what it is to be homeless. I know what it is to sleep in a room with 20 women there and no privacy. I know what it is to be in another room where there's only, there's six people sleeping and you only have one bathroom. Yet these women would get up like myself and the um, brother Ed didn't know I was in the shelter at that time. And I go on to work, get dressed. So you would not know that I was homeless. Uh, and unfortunately, one out of every four kids who's coming out below the age of 18 is being met with violence and rejection by their families. Um, being openly gay under the age of 18 is now the leading cause of homelessness amongst teenagers. They're survivors and they're amazing, brilliant, talented, beautiful people who just had some hard times and are trying to deal with our country's lack of services and the general public's uh, judgment of them. The Scandinavian countries can have universal housing, universal health care, and universal education. The Scandinavian countries, Denmark, Norway, um, how can they do that? And in comparison, America, the greatest country, the most wealth, the wealthiest country on the planet Earth. And we can't do that. According to the Coalition for the Homeless webpage, homeless youth are incredibly vulnerable and unprotected in society. They are victims of domestic violence, mental illness, unemployment, and displacement. There are over 61,000 homeless people, including 15,000 homeless families and about 23,000 homeless children in New York City.